So you want to play PC games and build a PC, but you don't want to break the bank. Well, today I'm going to show you how to build a budget gaming PC um, without breaking the bank. In order to build the PC, we need, of course, a screwdriver, um, a cutter, and our components. Okay, so let's just go through the components real quick, and I'll tell you why I bought this um, throughout the video. So I went with the B450M Gigabyte motherboard, Ryzen 5 2600 for the processor, Cooler Master 400 watts for the power supply, 16 gigabytes of RAM, one terabyte hard drive, and a 1050Ti GPU. Before we begin, a little background on how this build came to be. My friend told me that she wanted to play some games on a PC. But unfortunately, the PC at home was old. She was asking if she could upgrade it and I asked for her budget. And initially, the budget was 15k. As I was checking the parts of her old PC, I saw that they were really outdated. And with a 15k budget, I thought that she could just build a new PC. Let's build the PC. Let me just get this out of the way. When building a PC, start with the motherboard because this is where you'll attach all the components of a PC. Take it out of the plastic and then use this and the box as a surface to build on since I think um, the plastic is anti-static. These are your four RAM slots, the CPU slot and the GPU slot. Next up is the processor or the CPU. This thing, this tiny thing is your CPU. This is the CPU cooler. It's the Wraith Stealth cooler from Ryzen which comes with the Ryzen 5. Before putting in the CPU, it's good to check the pins. Um, these pins are very sensitive so be careful not to touch them. I'm just checking for any damages and checking that the pins are aligned. When installing the CPU, there's this arrow. You can see it on the upper left of your screen. It aligns with the arrow on the motherboard. So just lift up the safety lock of the CPU. Drop in the CPU. You'll know that it's in place because if you give it a little wiggle, the CPU, it shouldn't move much. Okay, That means that all the pins are in the designated holes and that's it. Lock the, lock the CPU in and you're good. Once the CPU is in, you can put the cooler on top of it and screw it in. But remember that when screwing in the CPU cooler, you want to go in an X fashion, meaning top left first and then bottom right, and then top right and then bottom left. I like to do each screw halfway on the first X and then I go for a second X to screw it fully in place. Plug the cooler into the motherboard. It should be labeled on the board but you can also check the manual just to be sure. Don't be the guy who forgets this step and then later on panics because his fan isn't working. RAM sticks are pretty easy to install. Okay, Just open the RAM slots and then align the stick in the slot. Don't worry, you can't interchange this. It only goes in one way. So once it's in, just give it a firm press and then you're gonna hear the locks click back into place and you're good. If you made it this far, then congratulations! You're halfway done and ready to put in the motherboard into its case. These are thumb screws which cases normally come with, so you just use your hands to remove them. And then here's a view of the case. This is the back. 
There's also ventilation on the top, ventilation on the side, and then here's your front panel. So you have two USB 3s, headphone and microphone jack. This is supposed to be a USB. And then you have a reset and a power button. First step after opening the case is a step that a lot of people tend to forget. This is the installing of the backplate or the I.O. shield. Don't forget this step because I don't think there's a way to put it in once your motherboard is screwed into place. So if you screw your motherboard into place without putting this in first, then you're screwed. When installing the motherboard, align it with the risers that you'll find on your case. If there are no risers yet, make sure that you put them on. These are like little pegs which prevent the motherboard from coming in complete contact with the case. So align it with the IO shield and with the risers and then simply screw in your motherboard. The front panel usually connects to the bottom part of the motherboard. So as you can see, this is the power and the reset button. Make sure that you check the manual for the for the correct orientation. You don't wanna have them interchanged. And then this is for the two USB 3 slots. And then this is for the headphone and the audio jacks. Something I really like about this case is that it has a power supply shroud. So obviously the power supply goes underneath it and then just screw it in with the screws that should come with your power supply. If it doesn't have screws, then the case should have or you can always ask the shops for screws. They always have many lying around. Power supply cables can be overwhelming, but trust me when I say that they're easier to mess up than to do properly. Each cable fits into one specific computer part, so as long as you don't force anything in, then you should be fine. To be sure that shit doesn't hit the fan though, always check the manuals. Next is your storage devices. So for this one, we're only using a hard drive. And don't forget to connect the hard drive to both the motherboard and the power supply. Before putting in the GPU, align it with the slot on the motherboard and check which one of these vent-like things on the left you're gonna have to remove. Check the manual of your case to know how these come off. Just like the RAM slots, you should hear a click when you push in the GPU. Okay, that's it for the PC build. So, it was it's very easy, it's very simple, but unfortunately, this build wasn't smooth sailing throughout the way. Okay, first of all, okay, this is the plan, and this was the actual. Okay, as you can see, the plan, I mean, the actual ex exceeded the plan by like four hundred bucks, which isn't bad. Okay, so these things happen. Number one, because the motherboard I was planning was out of stock. Number two. Um, well, the RAM was better since it became cheaper because uh, upon canvassing online, there was only the RGB version, but uh, when I checked in the store, they had the, the black version, okay? And then the GPU, uh, there was no brand. Uh, the Inno 3D brand, brand was unavailable, so I had to go with the palette, which was just slightly more expensive. And then the PSU was also more expensive by a bit but it's okay because uh it's cooler master anyway and i i personally prefer that brand over um the deep cool because uh well i personally use cooler master and i don't really know anyone who's using deep cool okay so exceeded the budget by 400 but uh that's not the biggest problem that i had okay the biggest problem i had was that the first ram stick that i got was not functioning properly Okay, so as you can see, as you saw in the video, everything was working fine. Everything checked out. All the fans were working, everything. I booted up the PC, but unfortunately, there was no display on the monitor, which was weird. So um, I did some troubleshooting, and one common problem is always the RAM. So what I did is I switched out the RAM from my personal PC. I put it in the PC that I built, and it worked. 
So I knew that the RAM was the problem. So I took it to the shop. Um, they tested it as well, and then they put another RAM stick, and it also worked well with the with the different RAM stick. So that's how we isolated the problem. I hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed building that PC. So if you have any questions or if you want to have a PC built, please. I enjoyed it so much that I want to do it again. So for questions or requests, I stream on Twitch every day except Wednesdays and weekends at around 5 p.m. I'll leave a link in the description and also I stream on Wednesdays but at 8 p.m. onwards. So yeah, you can ask me there or on Discord or Facebook or Instagram, all links in the description below. Alright, so check those out and don't forget to subscribe and we love to eat and we exercise for the extra runs. David Jones, why are you so stupid? Ay! Oh, tech. Na Holy shit. Did you see that? What a move. What a move. I swear. I swear.